So I was playing around with the spectator mode earlier in domination mode and uh, it came to me, I was like, oh I can have a look at all the people that are camping up on the roof and uh, it gave me a little bit of an insight in how to sort of play that because the beta's around for two weeks, obviously we know at the moment we're only going to be playing on one map which is Seas of Shanghai. We do get two different game modes but domination for me is the main one that I'm playing because I like the fast paced action. So I thought I may as well try and build up some tactics to be able to keep the roof on hold because as I said in my last video, if you've got control of that roof then you can pretty much dominate the whole map from there. So going back to my video the other day, I mentioned that we needed to nerf the roof because it's very easy to actually hold the roof if you know what you're doing. So, and I did only mention I think there was one ladder that went up to the roof. In fact, there's actually two. I found another one yesterday that I didn't even know about until after I'd finished doing the commentary. So I thought I'd put that in. So it's actually on the right hand side down a small gap behind one of the smaller parts of the top of the roof. So that then in total means there are three ways of which you can get up to the roof. Of course you've got the ladder on the left hand side which seems to be very popular for people coming up there. And it seems that the enemy team seem to know about that one and we'll get onto that in a minute. There's the elevator and the right hand side ladder as well. The rest is very straightforward. The easiest way to hold the roof you need to make sure all of those entrances are covered. Of course it can get hard when you've got sort of people down on the ground that you want to shoot. You'll turn your back for a couple of seconds, somebody will use the ladder, come up behind you and knife you in the back. But as long as you stay aware with what you're doing, then it's relatively simple. The only thing that I found was quite difficult was to control the elevator because of course it can be activated from the bottom as well as the top. So that means that you need to sort of have somebody on that side of the glass there sort of monitoring what's going on, looking down through the glass, getting some kills down there as well. And that way you can control the elevator. However, be aware that most of the time the enemies will come up with more than one of them. So they're going to be either in a pair or a triple coming straight out of the front of that elevator, all guns blazing. I found a really good tactic for that is if you're support and you've got the XM25 airburst, that's a really good thing to do. Just literally spam that thing into the elevator as soon as you see the doors open because the chances are you're going to be able to kill them really quickly. If you don't have one of those, then a good old bit of C4 in front of that as well or maybe just lobbing a grenade in will make them panic, run out and then you can pick off the remainders. One thing that I really did want to highlight is that glass roof because it plays a massive role into who's on top of the building, who's below it, how you can get across there and actually the flag underneath as well. If you're on the team that controls the roof, do your best to not shoot any of those glass panels out whatsoever because it makes it much harder for you to run across because you have to balance across one of the metal bars. If you can leave the glass in place, you can get across much quicker and get a different angle on the opponent that you're trying to shoot. If you're on the team on the ground trying to capture that flag, then my advice to you is just try and shoot out some of the glass panels. You don't have to do all of them because then of course you'll appear on the minimap unless you've got a suppressor on your weapon. But try and shoot out as many as you can. If you can see people up there that are shooting down at you, shoot back. Shoot out some of the glass. It makes it harder for the enemy team that are up there to stay up there for longer. If you are going to try and take the roof, however, you have to take a suppressor on your weapon or at least try and not make too much noise when you're killing all the enemies up there because chances are you're going to run into about six or seven enemies. So do the best you can to try and not make too much noise, i.e. if you come out of the elevator or come up the ladder and there's an enemy about three feet away, don't shoot him, get your knife out and knife him in the back. A good tip for you guys that's actually really worked well for me so far is before you start climbing up the ladder to get onto the roof I'd advise throwing a grenade up there because most of the time you've got a sniper that's sitting in close vicinity trying to hide in one of the corners so you might get lucky 50% of the time I was getting a kill and it meant that when I got up there I sort of had a few seconds to take it all in before I move around the corner and try and take out some enemies so it gets you a free kill and it makes you look quite tactical as well so it sort of goes both ways. And also going up those ladders you can actually sprint climb up the ladder which I found quite interesting if you just hold down the sprint button you'll climb up much faster than you normally would which is a really cool aspect it just means that you can stay out of the open for as little as possible get to the top move on and get to where you're going it means you're not going to get stuck on the ladder all the time and get shot down like you did in Battlefield 3. 
So those are some of the tactics that I've adopted so far to combat the roof problem. But we're not far away from the main release of the game and a lot of you guys said in the comments on my last video, I think a lot of commentators on YouTube were putting out the idea that you can use the remote mortar to simply hammer down rain on top of that roof and clear out all the campers. That's indeed true, that's going to be a really good tool for that. Now something on a completely different topic, but still related to Battlefield 4, I put out a tweet earlier asking people if DICE were to introduce a second map into the beta, which one would you like to see? Would you like to see Paracel Storm that we saw at Gamescom, or would you like to see Zavod 311 that we got the chance to play at Eurogamer? Now I tweeted out about it and it came out with a near 50-50 split with a slight favour for Paracel Storm so I thought I'd put it to all of you guys instead so there's actually a link to a poll in the description. If you want to take part just go click on that and vote for which one you want. Uh, it's not exactly sure if we are going to be seeing a second map in the Battlefield 4 beta but I just really wanted to know what you guys think. And that's it for this video guys, so I hope you've enjoyed all of my tips and tricks on how to hold the roof in domination game mode. I'll have another video out for you early next week, chances are it's going to be on Conquest. So I'm going to try my best to try and get some Conquest gameplay that actually looks good. Uh, so far it's been pretty crap for me, but likes and comments are always appreciated guys. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.